I, I know the list Harris, is great to long, see you. and this is just one example, but why in the world is an underground project for, for rail, which hasn't broken ground yet, in resource cash rich Silicon Valley, California, in a bill to help people who are suffering in the middle of a pandemic? Harris, I hope that everybody in America is taking a look at some of the just the liberal pork in this bill uh, and what they're trying to do all in the name of COVID relief. And boy, we need to rush this through. Didn't we hear this before? You know, you got to pass the bill to find out what's in it. You're going to be finding out a lot of things hmm. that are very disturbing. Less than 10 percent of the money in this one point nine trillion dollar bill is for public health. And in fact, if you look at the school's money. We ought to be opening up every school in America right now. The money's there to do it. There's over $60 billion still out there from the previous bipartisan bills to safely reopen schools. They're going to give another $100-plus billion. And you saw the president's spokesperson yesterday they said it's not even going to require them to open up schools. They just get the money. They don't have to educate our kids in the classroom, which is devastating millions of kids across America. That's what's in this bill. It's you know $15 minimum wage bailout of failed states like New York. Think about this. Governor Cuomo still won't release the data. We had an amendment to require Cuomo in this bill to release the data on nursing home deaths. He still won't give that. Yes. Even Democrats are calling for his removal. Uh, California has got a $10 billion surplus right now. Gavin Newsom was bragging about that, that last week. $10 billion surplus in California. This bill is going to borrow money from our kids to give Gavin Newsom billions more. Uh, this makes no sense. It's destructive to our economy. Larry Summers, uh, not, not a conservative uh, economist, said that it could actually lead to more devastation in our economy long term, including slowed growth and lost jobs. I mean, uh, this bill is really devastating for America. We, we need to defeat it and focus on helping families and small businesses get back open so and schools get back open. Congressman, I, I want to hit this quickly and then move on. But you gave some pretty astonishing numbers there. $60 billion still sitting in previous relief packages. Where is that money going? Right now, it's just sitting idle. Again, there's over a trillion dollars, Harris, in overall relief package money that's unspent from all the bills we did in a bipartisan way under President Trump. You know, we wow. the Paycheck Protection Program alone was a great lifeline saved over 50 so million jobs. So why is jobs. that money sitting There's there? There's money left over even in that program because there, there's still a lot of money unspent from previous bills that we passed. They want $1.9 trillion not to reopen schools and help businesses. Again, the Congressional Budget Office says the school's money, 95% wow. of that money won't even be able to be spent until 2022. Do you really want to delay school openings even more until next year? If you vote for this yeah. bill, any member of Congress said votes for it, is voting to delay school openings and just give away money that we don't have that's going to be borrowed from our kids they to may, slow economic growth. They may, in fact, be giving away their jobs because the voters are going to decide that. And if I misspoke and said 60 million, People I will meant be billion dollars still billion. have not been allocated for schools. All right, let's still And that's still just for on. schools. Yeah. Right, that, just for schools. Wow. Uh, New York lawmakers this week will decide whether to strip Governor uh, Andrew Cuomo. And I heard you mention him, Representative Scalise. They're, they're going to look at taking away his COVID emergency powers. A former top DOJ official says Governor Cuomo's actions may have even been criminal if his team knowingly gave inaccurate data on nursing home COVID deaths to the feds. Let's watch and I'll get your reaction. New York by the summer had by far the highest death uh, rate in the country, over 32,000 deaths, twice the deaths of any other state. If New York were its own country, it would have been among the top 10. But the governor was going around saying their nursing home deaths were very low. New York provided data to us that showed that they had understated the deaths in those nursing homes by one third. And this scandal is really encircling uh, the governor because, Congressman, I know you are now seeking documents from Governor Cuomo. Yeah, Harris, this is something that I started with some of my colleagues back during the summer. You know, you were talking about over eight months ago. We started asking Governor Cuomo for the data because I was hearing from New York families uh, that were devastated. They lost their mm. loved ones in nursing homes. And then we found out, we uncovered that he gave an order. Uh, we're talking about back at the beginning of the pandemic against CDC guidance. Governor Cuomo gave a mandate that said, if you're a nursing home patient in a hospital COVID positive, you have to be sent back to the nursing home. And remember, this is the most vulnerable population. And what happened is 
they sent COVID positive patients back and every, it seemed like in many of these nursing homes, almost every person in that nursing home got COVID from the COVID positive patients because of Governor Cuomo's order. So instead of giving us the facts, he started stonewalling. And as we see with so many of these scandals, the scandal might be really bad, but the cover-up's even worse. And we exposed just a few days ago, his top eight admitted that they covered up the data because they didn't want the federal government finding out. Wow. My God, I mean, you're talking about thousands of families who are so, devastated because they lost a, a family member, a, a father, m mother, that they never should have lost because of Cuomo. And instead of fessing up, he's covering this up even more. It's it's a major scandal. So, Congressman, and, and I wish you would just be honest with us about the data. Uh, uh, this may be one of those instances, and families have told me this, where actually the initial impact of the decision was worse than the cover-up because so many people died. So many, as you point out, so many more died than we had any idea. Uh, the press secretary for the White House now, Jen Psaki, was asked about uh, the president's previous praise for Andrew Cuomo's pandemic leadership. She dodged the question. Let's take a peek. Oh, I'm being told we don't have that. I apologize to everybody. Um, well, what she my did main say, question Harris, is, is that we haven't. You know, oh, go right ahead. Yeah, President Biden, when you when this story broke, and, and we're talking about the story where his top aide admitted that they covered up the data. She was talking to Democrat state senators in New York, thinking nobody else was listening in, and they leaked it. I think because they're disgusted by Governor Cuomo's mm. actions. But President Biden, that day Cuomo was in the White House, Biden called Cuomo the gold standard for a governor's right. leadership. My God, if, if killing thousands of people in nursing homes who never should have died is the gold standard for President Biden, uh, is that really the direction that they want to go? Uh, how about you focus on getting the facts out there? We had an amendment in committee last week to require that Cuomo release the data. Every Democrat voted against it. I don't know why they want to be complicit in this cover-up. But the families want answers and they deserve answers. Yes. Uh, this never should have happened. And I think you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. He's threatening Democrat assemblymen right now, threatening them, trying to get them to cover up and be a part of that. They don't want any part of this cover up. And you got AOC and de Blasio even saying now that this needs to be investigated. This is a major scandal. It should have never happened. Thousands of people died in New York who never should have died. Amen to that. Congressman Steve Scalise, thank you very much for being on the program.